call for diaconate, it's, it's a special call because that's when you are in the moment of your life, when you are going to be putting many things aside. It's a quarter till 10, today's Saturday the 14th of May, and we've got one baptism coming up, a little boy named Ivan. I was invited by a, a deacon, uh, Solis, and I had admired him uh, at a church, you know, years before, and became familiar with him working in ministry. And he asked me if I had ever considered it, which, which I had not. I was walking out of Mass, and my pastor, he stopped me, he said, you know, I would like to talk to you. And I said, oh my God, did I do something wrong? <laughs> and I went into his office and, and he told me, you know, there's gonna be this diaconate program and maybe for you and so, I didn't know what he was talking about. First thing I went home and I started searching. What is the diaconate? I, I couldn't relate to it. I llevo en cinco minutos. There's times where people say, where have you been? I haven't seen you. And we go to house blessings, you know, we go we do rosaries and vigils and house visits. We, uh, we, you know, people might call, say they need some sort of assistance, and, and I'll go and see what it is they need, if there's a ministry that can help them. And so there's a lot of work sometimes that it's not visible to the, the one hour a week Catholic. I, mean, I have quinceañeras, I have weddings, I have this. So we have so many different activities, and mostly Saturday and Sunday. So when people talk about weekends off, that's when we work the most. The same Typically, the people that are applying, they will not be able to cover all those expenses. And for that, we need the support of the community because Progress has been instrumental for us to pay for those expenses. We are looking forward and we would like to have a large group of deacons and wives. It will be a, a pity to see some people that we will not accept in the program because lack of funds. Thank you.